feel like you should already know. Whenever you see this background, you should know that I'm about to do something to my hair, which I am. And this is even a bigger indicator that I'm doing something to my hair. But no, I'm taking a break from the bleach because if I bleach my hair one more time, it's going to fall out. So I just don't want that. Today, I'm going to try to fix this color. It's like a pale, corally orange. Um, I already rocked the orange earlier this year, so I don't have a problem with the orange. But it's just not what I wanted. I wanted something a little bit more cooler. So I recently did place an order on Overtone. I picked up two colors. I picked up Espresso Brown, which is the first time I've ever tried one of their more natural colors. And then I also picked up Vibrant Blue. This guy, my thought process, if you look at the color wheel, across from orange is blue. So I want to neutralize the orange with the blue and then give it a little bit more of a natural brown tint. Yes, I'm going... I'm going back to the um, natural colors. Not that I don't like the fashion colors, but you know, kind of want to try poser paste whenever I do want to switch things up without bleaching and damaging my hair. So yeah, that's the plan. Whether it's gonna go up to plan, I have no idea because I'm not a professional but I do trust Overtone. I love their products, so, and I'm also in their ads. Um, I've gotten questions about that, and yes, that's me in some of their ads. Um, but I love them, non-sponsored. <laughs> I paid for this with my own money, so. Yeah, let's apply it on my hair. Okay, usually I don't do this, um, but this time I will be kind of being more strategic about what I use and how I use these deep conditioners. Oh, now they're called coloring conditioners. I'm sorry, they've changed. Whoa, they've changed things up. Look at this, this is the espresso brown. If you're Mexican, this looks like mole. <laughs> Which is making me a little bit hungry. Yeah, this is totally like mole right here. <laughs> Why are my hands shaking? I don't know. Okay, and this is the Vibrant Blue. I used to use Extreme Blue. Oh, this is much lighter, obviously. And it looks a little bit more like periwinkle. I thought it was going to be definitely more of a royal blue, but like a toned down. This looks a little bit periwinkle. This I'm going to be using to dilute the colors and get something that is on my mind. <laughs> I can't explain what's on my mind. I just know I want a cooler like cooler brown, not super dark. So hopefully I end up with that. Next up, gloves. These look like um, like condoms, like overtoned condoms, but they're gloves. And just putting on the gloves makes you feel like you're a professional. Although I am clearly not a professional. I'm gonna start by squeezing some of this out. Look at me, I bought a whisk from Sally Beauty. I'm gonna start by just taking a little bit of the Vibrant Blue. So I'm going to start mixing the Vibrant Blue with the Trader Joe's mask to get a lighter blue. I'm going to get a little bit more of this guy because I need enough for my ends. I have a lot of orange. Little by little, I'm going to be adding the Vibrant Blue and creating this delicious looking, frosting looking mixture. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the espresso brown and I should probably use something else. Maybe I'll just grab from this lid. As you can probably tell from the lid, espresso brown is a warmer tone brown. You can definitely see some of the yellow and the orange in this color. I want a cooler brown, so I'm most likely going to end up mixing a little bit more of the vibrant blue. So as I'm mixing, you're already seeing some of that blue counteract the yellow and the orange in the espresso brown so it's looking a little bit more gray i think that's what i'm aiming for so i'm gonna keep mixing 
And once I'm happy with the color and I have enough of the product, I'm gonna show you how it's looking like. So don't mind how disgusting this formula looks, but I think I got the right color that I wanted. It's a much cooler brown. So you can see, <laughs> you can see now. So a lighter, cooler brown. So this mixture is going to be going on any part of my head that's currently orange. So most of my head. On the roots, I'm gonna do a different mixture because um, it does have a little bit of orange. Um, I accidentally got some of that bleach up there and um, I want to make that cool as well. Some temporary colors do recommend you to apply to clean hair. With this guy, you can apply it to dry hair and my hair is dry and it is dirty and it's okay. It's still gonna work because I'm gonna let it in for at least an hour. I usually do leave overtone for more than the recommended time. It is what, 15, 10 to 15 minutes. I leave it on longer because it's just a conditioner and I've gotten really great results with that. Just wanted to let you know, my hair is dry and it is dirty. That's how I've always used overtone and any other like semi-permanent or coloring conditioner and they've always given me really great results. So now I'm gonna apply this all over the place, focusing on small sections, saturating the hair as, as much as I can. So my mixture has been applied all over my head. I feel like it might not be the most even application that I've done just because it was much thicker than it usually is thanks to the Trader Joe's mask. I can still see some of the orange peeking through. So now I'm going to do what I'm going to apply on the roots, which is going to be a mixture of just espresso brown with vibrant blue, so no more of the hair mask. I'm going to start off with espresso brown and this is not going to go all over my roots just because I only experience getting bleach on this upper portion, so I'm just gonna cover <laughs> just this part. So this is the mixture that I'm going to be applying on the roots. It's a much cooler toned brown. It actually looks very similar to my natural hair color. And for this, I will be using one of these brushes just to be more precise. Look at me, I'm a professional. I know there's a few people that actually do hair that watch my video, so if you're one of them, I apologize. This is um, not a tutorial, it's just me messing up my hair. Or maybe fixing it, hopefully fixing it, but uh, you never know. Yeah, this is way too much, so I'm just gonna pour it back into the espresso brown. Um, in you go. Okay, we're done. We are done! There's still a lot of the espresso brown left, which is good. And then there's also vibrant blue left. I'm gonna clean up my mess. Let this sit for, I don't know, an hour, like I said. And then I'm gonna wash my hair. Hopefully this ends up good. If I don't have the time <laughs> or the light to show you guys how it looks like, I'm gonna show you the after tomorrow. And this is how my hair turned out. Look at it. It's probably the most normal change that I've done, but I really like the tone that it has. Still a little bit warm, but not orange. Actually, it looks a little bit more neutral in person, but I just really like it. I feel like it suits my complexion so well. And although it's, like I said, the most normal change that I've done to my hair, kind of seems a little bit more radical just because I feel like people expected something bright and colorful and I gave them something normal. <laughs> I really like it. The roots turned out really good. That espresso brown it, mixed with the vibrant blue is practically like my natural hair color. So, I got to cover those patchy spots <laughs> really, really well. Um, so yeah, that's it. I mean, I don't have anything else to say. There's a full review on the Overtone Deep Conditioner, which, I mean, they changed the name, but it's the same formula. So I will link that down below as well as in the cards. Let me know if you have any questions about the Espresso Brown. Vibrant Blue is going to be Vibrant Blue, but I mainly use it to neutralize the orange 
undertones in my hair as well as in the espresso brown formula so yeah i'm very happy with the way my hair turned out let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you're brand new to his channel don't forget to subscribe to see brand new videos probably will not be changing my hair up anytime soon i need to give my hair some rust and a lot of tlc <laughs> my ends are so dry i know if i bleach it one more time my hair is gonna fall off well it's probably gonna break off from like here to like the ends because they're very dry so it needs a break maybe i'll keep experimenting with colors with the good die young poser piece so if you're interested in seeing those let me know in the comments below i'll see you guys very soon in my next video Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!